Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a very beautiful painting for a peacock and I will be doing this with the help of a palette knife. So this is very gorgeous, very vibrant. It also has glitters. I have done a coating with golden and blue glitters but these are not very visible to the camera. But then when you will yourself do it, you will see how stunning this piece turns out to be. So without waiting further, let's get started. So for this painting, I have taken up a canvas which is three and a half feet by two and a half feet. Basically, I'll be using two different canvases for this. The canvas measurement are 16 inches by 20 inches and I've taken two. So in total, it is 40 inches by 32 inches in height and in width. So I have sketched it with a pencil. I have done the background, which is gray, yellow and white. I did. I thought not to record it as it's going to be a very lengthy painting, but then I thought, why not? So here I am. So initially, what I'm doing is I am making the base, which, which will be the shadows of this peacock. So I'll be doing it with the help of blue and I have mixed a little of black into this blue to make the feathers. We normally do these shadows because while working with a knife, we scrape the canvas and whatever color is at the base, that shows up. So I don't want white peeking out of these feathers. So I'm making the base layer itself in a color that if it scrapes and peeks through the feathers, it is still dark in color. So that is why I'm making these shadows. So let's continue with this.
So as our base layer is almost about to be done, we will move forward toward mixing of our colors. So for that, I am taking this gel medium. This is from dickblick.com. This is approximately $12. I've gotten, got it in off. You will also get this on Amazon. So I have taken a few scoops of these uh, gel material this dries transparent so whatever color you're mixing with these um, gel medium it will be that color itself for example I'm mixing blue with this transparent white gel it will still be blue in color it dries up blue so I'll be making different batches of colors I've taken yellow blue magenta, sky blue color, orange. I will be using green also. So you can choose whatever color you like because it's an abstract painting. So you can choose the color you want in your peacock. It doesn't have to be like it looks in original because this is an abstract. This is not a painting. You are not replicating a peacock. You are making your own uh, version of this abstract peacock so so choose what you like and uh, here I have used about six seven different uh, variation of colors I later realized I should have used less so my suggestion to you would be use about four to five colors only that way the colors won't overlap a lot and each color will show through individually So as I placed each color, I am taking blue and I'm just giving it a shape of feathers. So when blue mixes with yellow, it automatically gives us that green color that we need for a peacock. So that way we will be just making the shapes and this will form our feathers.
So moving towards the top part of the peacock, we will be using the blue color. So I'm just placing the acrylic gel mixed with blue color on the top part. This is a bright blue color that I've used. So to make a variation of this blue, I'll be next using cobalt blue, which is also called as royal blue, to make that partition. I am also mixing a little of white to the neck part to give that a shine of feather. So our painting is about to be completed now. It took me about 12 hours to dry this painting and later I coated or I applied a coat of gold glitters. Along with gold I have used blue glitters as well on the feathers. So personally when you look at it, it is very beautiful, very vibrant and gorgeous. So I absolutely loved this painting, how it turned out. I like knife painting because it's bold, it's fierce. It's not like you're copying a painting. It's like your own version, your original thoughts on it. So I absolutely loved how it turned out. I hope you like it too. If you do like it, kindly leave me a comment. Tell me how you like it. Definitely try yourself too and let me know how it goes so kindly subscribe to my channel for more and show me some love via your comments you guys have a great quarantine days bye bye